from the fan Sarita was saying the the corporatization started or especially the OTT and satellite satellite say you know Z itself started in 92 uh, so from the last 30 years at least some of the rights which are uh, which are possible to sell there are buyers for it otherwise earlier it used to be just music rights and they used to be Doordarshan this is like way back 30 40 years ago uh, and then VHS rights came and so the rights keep increasing and with the rights coming in obviously there is a demand which is created which is outside of uh, outside of the theatrical and hence there was a certain way of monetizing and that's where the corporatization <coughs> you know came in or even producers um, so just to in just to lay out what the producer's role is it's not just raising finance uh, that of course is extremely difficult then of course that entire the difficult part is to produce that film over whether it's 20 days or 100 days as the case may be and then going through that post production process of managing that entire uh, uh, the entire workflow uh, and then once it's ready is when really the 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 toughest part of the journey starts then uh, how do you release this how do you find buyers for it how do you ensure that it reaches the audience how do you market it uh, and there's a whole you know I, I just as a, a pure director or a producer for them to do the producer's job really is like effectively the CEO of the entire of the entire organization uh, everything from raising money to making sure that the film releases and you recover as much as you can and you know and, and you know and get a profit so you know it, it, it's an extremely tough task for the producer uh, for directors I mean that's where the passion I mean a producer really needs to see passion in the director um, I've been running Z studios now for the last five years and I'm happy to say we've given a fair number of chance to a number of first-time filmmakers uh, who have reached out to us and we've got a, a fairly robust or fairly large team of creative uh, creatives in-house as well as our production team who's always scouting uh, so for every you know big film with established directors or production houses that we work there's a fair amount of work which is happening with first-time filmmakers or you know where the story appeal uh, I think it's very important that you know it, the, the, the director needs to have some sort of a show deal and uh, whether it's a short film and now thanks to technology you can shoot almost anything with your phone uh, so be fearless and you know create those show deals at zero cost uh, using friends as actors or whatever is you know is needed uh, because that gives you you know some sort of a for us to see the craft which is there secondly very important to write a great hundred page and you know we've all been in this business for long enough and it's far and few between. I mean, I'm sure there are directors over here who think that they've got this, you know, great script. But let me tell you, it's not. I mean, I, I read anything there about 100 scripts a year, and there are barely two, three which really jump out and say, "Hey, this is great," and you know, one must, one must support it. And we, we did that in the last year. We released, you know, we are on the verge of releasing a film called Jora, which Devashish Makhija has written. There's Kennedy with Anurag Kashyap. Uh, so you know, so there was, there, there are such you know gems which which come up but a lot of the times the writing or what we are reading and as producers on the panel it's not uh, I keep telling it should be the 25th draft should come to the producer many a times you know people think that hey I've got my first draft and my friends like it and everyone says nice things and it comes to us and uh, so yeah the path to reach anyone sitting over here is difficult enough but when you get that you make sure that you're clearly giving uh, something that 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 stands out that on the reading itself someone says hey this is something which is interesting you know you mentioned at the earlier on that uh, it's not very structured now anybody would like to take this question uh, can't something be done about structuring raising of finance because there are newcomers who are at sea completely at sea because there is no structure is it impossible or is it that producers are so busy the uh, people in the industry are so busy that there's no time to do something collectively. So each one is thinking of himself. No, absolutely, everyone's doing that. But I think what NFDC and the film bazaar is is part of. You know, but that may not be enough. Yeah, I think we need a lot more. We need, I mean, a country of our size needs multiple film bazaars, you know, to go on. And I think it's a lot of it is collaborating and finding like-minded people and coming up with the collective. So by the time the the, the project reaches you know any decision makers you're seeing the people associated with it uh, you know are fairly are fairly well qualified or they seem to have enough uh, yeah, it's the same thing like if I'm a venture capitalist and if I want to invest in a company what is the idea and 